Aloha and welcome back. I'm Fade Panther and this is B.A. Walker, Battle for El Dorado. And we've got, okay, another single mission. Oh no, and I can't use my rockets, which is fine. I didn't upgrade them anyway. Operation Napalm. Oh, Napalm is nasty stuff. So, yeah. How about we restart that? Uh, yeah, actually, like, Okay, I, I get what you're getting at, but we can't, like, talk to them. And because we can't talk to them... There's a high chance that the entire race could be wiped out because of this fucking blunder. Yeah, exactly. It's like, I am I get it. If we could talk to them and could immunize them, sure, yeah, but we can't single out the ones that are infected. We can't, like, I, I get where you're coming from, lady. I do. You don't want to kill innocent people. Oh, I can't even kill a single one. All right, fine. Well, that's annoying. Again, like, I get it. I get where you're coming from. I really, really do. But again, we can't talk to them. If we could talk to them, if we could reason with them and immunitize them, absolutely. But you're, you're talking about saving a couple thousand to inevitably wipe out the entirety of their race. I, I do not see the moral high ground in this. Uh, that's going a step too far. Just banning all the research and everything like that, and then arresting the... It's like, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That, that is too far. You're right. We could choose to let the entirety of the race that's uh, pushing us away from the planet die... That's a distinct possibility. We could choose to attempt to save it in a more rational... Well, not rational, because this is actually rational. Like, I get where you're coming from, again. But you do have to realize that you are risking an entire race to save some of the rest. I, I, do, I do not see the... I empathize with where you are coming from, but you have to understand that this does not work the way you want it to work. Period. It just does not. Oh my god.
I mean, him stopping the research altogether is dumb. Like, it, it is super dumb. Because there is a high possibility of that virus mutating enough that it's a problem for us, too. Whatever. I, I really hate you guys' uh, use of landmines. At least nobody's fucking talking to me this time. That was super fucking annoying. You do realize the moment you start firing on me, I will fire back, and I'm a walker, so, you know. Yeah, like there's no more high ground in this area. This guy's an asshole for stopping the research in the first place. They're assholes for like thinking that saving a couple hundred thousand is <sighs> like both of them are going to doom it if they don't see eye to eye. But no, they're they're going to say that you know. Saving the indigenous uh, people through this weird cockamamie side plot is going to be the one to... No. no. <coughs> yeah, that's what we're trying to fucking do.
Wait. So, Doctor. Oh, okay. I deliberately stepped on a couple of mines because there's an achievement for stepping on 10 mines throughout a mission. And I just got that one. So, yay. Yeah. Please hear me out, Walker. General Goray has ordered the burning of the Wahi settlements with death rays to try to stop the epidemic. This is madness. It is one thing to protect a colony from bloodthirsty warriors, but something else to wipe out thousands upon thousands of sentient beings. I'm not talking about warriors, but the Wahi women and children. I won't allow this, and neither will the colony soldiers. You can't order them to stop being human. We will stand against the short-sighted cruelty of the general. We will remove him from command and stop the epidemic. My words are not empty. I became the first test volunteer in the experiment of human adaptation to El Dorado microflora. And I'm alive. I can breathe without air filters, just as people used to breathe on Earth until the last war. This means that we can cure the Wahi and stop the epidemic. We just need more time and your help. Please help us, Walker. Okay, so let me get this straight. You are condemning him for doing what he thinks is right because you have not provided any proof that you can actually cure this ep uh, epidemic. But you really, really believe you can, have not provided me any proof that you can, and your only proof is that you can breathe in their environment. Forgive me, forgive me for my ignorance, but this does not constitute a good plan. Like, I'm, I'm dead serious. I am actually flabbergasted that this is the way it is right now. Like, I, I am actually siding with the people wanting to wipe out the colonists to save the rest of the race of those creatures those sentient beings because you're sitting there saying oh you're wiping out this well so are you in a much worse way oh my god and again are you providing me proof of any of this no uh yeah no i'm i'm sorry I, I, I really went into this wanting to side with this, but they're stupid. Like, they have not provided me any proof. They're just going, trust me on faith. You could sit there and tell me just as much about, hey, I can survive outside with the microphore because of this. And Cool. Are you going to tell me that you've already got a vaccine working or... or like an understanding of how these super things work? No. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to go with this. I I really hate that I have to choose this, but yeah, no. What's that? The fuck is that? We will begin clearing the settlement of G3. The settlement is the nearest that has broken into the natives usually active they must be yeah makes sense like i i hate that this guy's being stupid about the the research and everything like that 
but he's actually the one being intelligent about this. With a death ray special weapon. Yeah, okay. Yeah! Like, it's, it's stupid, but again... Like, the other chick is not telling me, hey, I've contacted the the savages or the the Ternogi, um, and I've begun talking with them, and I, I'm in contacts with their leader. Like, you haven't told me anything about the bridging the gap. The closest that I've ever seen of this happening is in their, they were worshipping my thing as a god. That That is not the same thing as helping them. You have not provided me... Now you're providing me... Uh, proof. No, no. you It's on you. You literally had a chance to tell me, hey, we have a serum going that might be able to... No. Like, you did not even come close to... Um... Uh, talking about this. No, straight up, like, I I'm sorry. You're condemning an entire race. Have no, like, backup plan. Or just go, just, just trust me. I could breathe with them. It's like, I don't fucking care. Can you talk to them? Can you, can you, like, have them not kill the people trying to save them? No. Then this is the way it has to be. God, I fucking hate this. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm, like... We do live in an age where medicine and stuff like that is, is very... Um, available and whatnot. But I want you guys to realize... That all it takes is for the infected whoever they may be to just not want to take the the medicine I am morally conflicted because I want to like help You never gave me anything at the time. You hate me? I fucking hate you. Like, you're not looking at the grander picture of this. And you're just like, oh, trust me, trust me. Even though, like... You have reliably caused so much issue. Do I want to work with these creatures? Absolutely. I, I want to be on, like, the quote-unquote good guy side. But not at the expense of fucking intelligence. I fucking hate that like, quote-unquote, the bad guy in this, is the one making sense. If you stop an infection from spreading, the populace survives. Yeah. 
Yeah, thank you. And it's not like this guy's like enjoying this. That's the big thing about all this. Like, he's not enjoying this. He doesn't fucking care that he had to, uh, uh, that the other people may have had a cure. He saw what he was doing as right. And I agree with him. Because the people who, quote unquote, are right, if they are right, are condemning an entire race without, like, seeing reason on their half and just pointing fingers and going, well, you're the one doing Terrible. Fuck off. I cannot stress how infuriating that is to me. Can I keep this? Well, I would like to keep it. I can keep it? Fuck yeah. I don't enjoy having to do this. But I think that's the point of this game. I guess not. I guess to the rebels, you know, siding with the... <sighs> and, and I do want to point out, like, in this scenario, the rebels are attacking first for nothing more than the, your leader is not what we agree with, so we're going to kill all of you. Jesus Christ! I want to note that this wasn't a propaganda thing. The rebels attacked first. With nothing more than the concept that, oh, your leader is bad, so uh, we're going to kill all of you.
sad part is, this, this right here is very much something that I, I see going on right now. Oh, you sided with a, a person out of two choices. I'm going to murder you now. Okay, that's a bit of fucking stream, but sure. I don't know if I want to pick the other side. Yeah, actually. And yet you attack defense near defenseless fucking settlers trying to fucking move forward. You are no better. It wasn't a genocide of an entire race. You're the ones doing genocide. Oh my god. I don't know if they're intentionally painting her this way. I, and, and the part that infuriates me the most is, like, from this angle, it's not, well, both had a, a good reason for, it's like, yes, they both had good reasons, but you're talking about one who, to save an entire race of creatures, they had to make the order to wipe out a, a settlement versus individuals who are willing to wipe out all their own people and nothing more than on the the prospect that they could prevent the epidemic oh oh i mm. And at this point, at this juncture, what are they doing? They're using the very same creatures that they're supposedly trying to protect to attack humans. It's like, where, where is your high ground in this? This is, oh, I want to see this to the end, just so I can kind of see from their, the other side of point of view, because I want to see, I want to see. Attention, mm. the colony is in a state of emergency. You think? Dr. Shivington and her followers have incited a revolt amongst the colonial leadership. Presently, half our combat forces refuse to obey lawful orders. Dozens have been killed by the traitors already. This senseless loss of human life was for the sake of dying savages. Dr. Shivington started a war jeopardizing the colony. The mad scientist calls foolishness humanity and hides her wild mood swings behind a guise of morality. Now, for the first time, humanity wages war itself on El Dorado. And at a time we should all be focused on mankind's very survival. Worse still. Dr. Shivington has broken an alliance with the savages. So it is, yeah. we find ourselves at war with this crazy scientist and a horde of bloodthirsty savages who are now equipped with advanced weapons. 
My friends, remain loyal to humanity, to your species during this trial. May God help us. Like, I don't want to side with, quote-unquote, the bad guys. I don't. I really don't. But when the, quote-unquote, good guys are not only not giving me a good fucking reason to side with them, but are actually, in fact, making me question whether or not they have any understanding of what the fuck they are doing. Mmm. Mmm. I... I regret that the way things are painted... Like, if this was in the the full intent of the creators to actually give you a moral dilemma of like uh, you, you with faith you go along with these guys or with sense you go along with these guys if they intended for that I I applaud them I, I truly do because like I on, on the moral side of things I don't consider her having mood swings I really don't like this has been festering for a while he just hasn't looked at it. Um, but at the same time, instead of, hey, we're talking with tribes, we're trying to get um, a thing going with them. Hey, we could actually talk with them and immunitize them and like actually form an established bond with them. What does she say? I can breathe in the environment. Please trust me. Uh, no. That's that's not how this is done. Tell me you have proof. Because right now, the thing that makes sense is that the ones who are already dying need to be purged. It sucks. It's horrible. But if we could talk with them, this would be a much different scenario. You have not offered that solution. Instead, you offered... What do we have now? A war with humanity against humanity and a third party. I, it's like, you incited death. And you somehow think you're on the high ground of protecting the very creatures that you were throwing into combat. No. No. It does not surprise me that she's got followers. Because I, I, I see a different side of things, clearly. And I hope that I'm allowed to go back and, like, pick the other side and see what goes on that. But for right now, they seem dumb. They seem super, super dumb. High on their own fucking horse about how to do things. And thinking that's enough to get someone on their side. It's not. The facts. The facts. Not, not blind faith. That's, that's what happens when you result in just blind faith. You get people killing people for nothing more than we don't like your leader. Yes, there, there's more behind that. But seriously, it's just spoiling down to we don't like the leadership. So we're going to kill everyone who's involved with them. They fired first. Anyway, th this is infuriating. I will catch you all in the next episode. Um, I will probably... Yeah, let's actually abandon this mission. Um, I'll catch you all later. Until next time, have fun, be safe, and aloha.